Films that come to mind for the genre are films like Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Black Christmas. Those were early examples for the slasher genre. Then comes a film called Halloween by the end of the decade in the 70s. A decade that was already packed full of some of the best horror movies in existence. Halloween was directed by John Carpenter and was released in 1978. And this is a must-see movie, especially for the Halloween season and for those people that are huge fans of horror movies in general. Halloween begins with a young man named Michael Myers killing his older sister. This opening shot sets you up for the movie as there is no proper explanation on why this has happened. The haunting first person perspective of Michael walking around the house is probably my most vivid memory of this movie since it just comes out of nowhere. It's present day now. Michael is all grown up and has been kept in an asylum under the supervision of Dr. Loomis. He escapes one night and makes his way back to his hometown of Haddonfield, a quiet little town, and today everyone is celebrating Halloween. The people we get introduced to are Laurie Strode and her friends, as well as a young kid named Tommy she'll be babysitting later. It all seems calm and harmless in this town until Laurie starts noticing the shape lurking around. First in a car, then behind the bushes, then finally in her backyard. Lori is just a sweet, kept to herself, book smart sort of girl. Then she has her fucking friends and they're all bratty, annoying and obnoxious and they say the word totally all the fucking time like they're trying to be hip. By night as everyone is babysitting and having premarital sex, this is when Michael Myers finally attacks. Once Lori finds all her friends dead bodies, the true horror of this movie finally begins as Michael hiding in the shadow lurches out and then starts chasing Laurie around, all while the beautiful piano piece by John Carpenter himself begins playing. This music is so nerve-wracking and terrifying, it's fucking awesome. Michael, after getting taken out twice, just keeps coming for Laurie more. Gets up like The Undertaker. The Undertaker! Finally, Dr. Loomis comes and lays plenty of bullets into Michael. Assuming he's dead, after all, Michael got shot off the balcony, his body has vanished, leaving the movie lingering with the haunting sound of Michael's heavy breathing through the mask. Jamie Lee Curtis as Laurie started her career strong from this movie and was labelled the Scream Queen. She's gone on to have a big career, but always goes back time and again to her roots with the sequels slash reboots of the Halloween franchise. Donald Pleasance as Dr. Loomis, although was a well-known actor from movies like James Bond and The Great Escape, but he got a huge revival from this movie. Being a part of the sequels Halloween 2, 4, 5 and 6 before his death in 1995. A landmark horror movie if I've ever seen one. Just like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the implication of violence is much more frightening than blood and gore flying everywhere. The implication as well as the realism of these murderers are frightening. Michael Myers or Letterface could be real deranged people going around killing people and you wouldn't know it. Like it's that realism is far more scarier than anything else that could be supernatural or whatever. The realism and the implication of violence is the way to go for these sort of movies. Halloween, a must see horror movie if you haven't seen it and it's perfect for the Halloween season. Uh, go watch it.